Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your love reading for January 8th through January 14th. Now, the last one um, was a general reading, but you can check on that one too. Did did uh, have a little bit of uh, future love perhaps in it. But anyway, we're going to see what comes up here. This is for the sign of Sagittarius. Well, um, I'm having a hard time talking today. I don't know why, so just bear with me. If it doesn't resonate, just take what does and leave the rest. I don't know if I forgot to zoom the camera in on the last one or not. I'm having a terrible time with that today. Um, depression, sadness, anxiety over a relationship, okay, over over a relationship or lack thereof, okay, it feels like, you know, there's instability here, there's some instability, you may be feeling really down in the dumps, and this does go along hand in hand with the other one, it's like you're feeling unstable, you're feeling insecure, like, oh, jeez, um, come on, here we had that card too, <laughs> give it, give and take, Interesting. Lack of self-confidence. Healing. Healing is needed. And this is giving again. The Ace of Pentacles. You had this with the other one. It's a gift, okay? It's a gift. This is about summertime, by the way. Oh, my God. Look at that. It looks pretty good, don't it? Okay, yeah, so I think new love is going to come for you. Okay, new love is going to come if you are single. If you are in a relationship right now, there could be some kind of, uh, there could be some, some instability. There could be um, even a moving, okay? If you are coupled with somebody, somebody could be considering moving out. There could be some control issues, maybe some manipulation. Somebody could be moving out of your home. There could be changes in your establishment, which would be your home, because, you know, there wasn't enough... Um, equality within the relationship there could have been some uh abrasive behavior okay and where it feels like somebody was belittling you now i don't know if that's whatever that is but you take that however it is um that came out for a reason um there's been some kind of despair for sure somebody wants to break free They've been thinking about how am I going to break free from this? Perhaps a relationship or break free from the the thoughts of a past relationship. Somebody could be feeling like um, they made an impulsive decision and now they're paying the price. Maybe the, somebody has a choice between two people coming in. Could be an air sign and a water sign. You could have a choice between two different people, um, but it feels like that love is looking in, okay? It's looking in the window or whatever, but it feels like, I don't think it's this week. I don't, I th again, I mean, this week is, you are, you are focusing more on your own internal abundance, okay? I think it's, it's like, we have this gift here that's being offered to you, like this gift of a relationship, but I think it's the gift does not come this week, okay? I think right now is a time of bringing structure back to your life, bringing structure and organization, whereas things have been a little chaotic and impulsive and out of whack. And I think they've been out of whack because somebody has has dimmed somebody's self-esteem and self-worth and and somebody is feeling a little less than confident okay that the confidence level is not way up there and that's why that ace of pentacles right there is in the middle is because it's saying that you are abundant you do have um stability and security within yourself okay Yes. Six months. Six months. What's this? January, six months, June, May, June. Anywhere from May to the end of August. That's when you're going to meet. 
that's when you're going to the end of August. That'd be seven months. That's funny. I just saw that seven. That's when this new person is going to come in, this new gift. But this, this, and I don't, you know, I can't, if it comes up this week, I, it's just the way it is. This is a, like a premonition. You can call it whatever you want to call it. I don't care. Um, the, right now, it's a period of getting your life back on track, um, bringing structure to your life, regaining control of your security, of your bank account, you know, of your foundation, regaining that security after a period of impulsiveness, I think. And I feel like by summertime, if you're single, somebody is going to come into your life, somebody new. And it's, you might even have a choice between two people. But right now, I think you're not going forward, moving forward with love because you're stuck. If you're, sick, if you're with somebody, if you're coupled, I think you're feeling trapped. And you probably want to get out of it. I see that somebody is feeling trapped, they're losing sleep, they're having a lot of depression, they want to get out of a relationship because they want new stability, they want new security, and if they were to free themselves, they might be able to find this by summertime, but they would have to take the next uh, six to eight months to heal, okay, because I see that there is some healing needed, and I think that is for singles and couples. Okay, there's some healing needed because there's been some kind of upset in your home life, in your finances, in something. Okay, in a relationship, there's been a, there's some kind of healing needed before this unexpected love can come into your life. Okay, you need to work on your financial foundation, your financial um, foundation. Okay, and I think that and and yourself. Okay, you need to work on yourself, on mastering your emotions and take care, taking care of you right now. It's a very strong message. I just, I feel like you guys will have somebody new that comes into your life out of the blue. And this is not somebody that you expect, but it's not going to be until summertime, okay, if you're single. And I'm not going to pretend. I'm not going to pretend that there's that this beautiful wonderful thing is coming in because right now things are stalled okay there's a lesson there's a phase that hasn't ended yet okay it's the truth I mean with the world card reversed something hasn't been completed yet and it's you you have to be ready for this new love to come in and some in God universe this person whoever is thinking about you is getting ready themselves but they're also waiting for you to get ready behind the scenes without you even knowing it without them even knowing it divine timing is what I'm talking about here you need to be ready when this love comes into your life but because this world card is reversed you're not ready yet if you are coupled, then you still, you have a phase that you need to work out with your partner before things are going to get better. There's something that needs to be worked out. There's some kind of instability, um, insecurity, uh, withdrawal, feeling like you're trapped. Um, there could be some verbally abusive behavior if you're coupled, you know, that needs to be worked out. I just feel like there's somebody, somebody is, something needs to get back on track. And I think it's you before this new love comes in. And, you know, I'm not going to say something that isn't true. And it might not be for you. So if it doesn't resonate with you, then it doesn't. Because this isn't for every single person that watches it. Yeah. If you've watched the other re reading, this, this coincides with it. And this is around the corner. See, I knew it. I did. It's true. The first card is retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. It is. It's time for you to work on you. And I know this is like a follow-on to the last reading, but it is. I, I can't make new love come in if you aren't ready for it. Okay? Very soon. It's, all, it's completely up to you. It's not up to the reader. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. If you want love to come in, 
you have to be ready for it. And for you to be ready for it, you have to work on yourself first and get yourself there. There's a lesson that needs to be learned for that world card to be flipped over. It has to do with courage and self-confidence and self-worth and self-esteem. Ooh, look at that. The Thinking Woman. This is from the Energy Oracle Cards. Energy Oracle Cards by Sandra Ann Taylor. I'm going to read it because I don't know these cards by heart. The Thinking Woman. Hopefully you can see it. Female of wisdom or understanding. Upright. This card shows a woman holding a book. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. Standing before a staircase, ready to lead you to higher understanding. This woman could be a friend who helps you. who helps you express and understand your feelings. Or she could be a teacher brought to your life at this time to take you in a new direction. Interesting. This could also be a new love interest with a woman who is thoughtful, conscious, and aware. Or like the thinking man, this card could represent a side of yourself that's ready to blossom and bring clarity and assistance to the world. If so, your voice, if so, find your voice and let your wisdom shine. Affirmation. I open my mind and heart to my own inner wisdom. I am thoughtful, focused, and clear. I told you it was time for you to work on you. And I know that you guys are looking for that ultimate romance. That ultimate romance, if you're single, is coming. But you have to learn a very important lesson first, and it has not been learned yet with that world card. And it has to do with self-esteem. I just have to tell you. It's time for you to work on you and work on healing from the past. Work on healing from whatever it was that fell apart. And, and get ready. And decide that you're ready. Very soon. Anyway, Sagittarius, this is what I have. Talk to you later.